have to make 42 roses. 42. I have three. I have out of 42. And also in the next two weeks, I'm going to be moving, I'm going to be going on vacation, and I'm going to be starting law school. Please send help. I don't know how I'm going to do this all. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Sierra and I run Sierra Stitches, which is my own crochet small business. In this video, we're going to be attempting, keyword, attempting to recreate my viral bouquet. So I have this little video, I'll show you guys here. Just this cute little video, I took it in the backyard, it's like 10 seconds, and it says POV, you send this to your boyfriend to remind him that August 1st is National Girlfriend Day. And I was like, okay, it's just a cute little video, you know, let me just post it. So I posted it. And this video now has 2,816,419 views at the time of taping this, or at the time of recording this. That's a ton of views. And because of this, my DMs were exploding a few weeks ago. I ended up getting four orders for these bouquets. So three of them are 12 roses each, and then the last one has only six roses. So in total, if the math is mathing, I think that is 42 roses that I have to make. And I don't know if you saw in my intro, but... I have three. Three finished. So I have a lot of work to do, so I figured I would just make a video about it and take you guys along for the ride. So I'm just going to be, over the next, I don't know how many days this is going to take me, recreating these bouquets, showing you guys how I crochet the flowers, what pattern I use. Hint, it's my own pattern. You should go watch my last video, which is a tutorial, and also how I wrap them and ship them. So stay tuned and let's hopefully finish these orders together. One thing I also forgot to mention is the yarn that I'm going to be using for these bouquets in case you guys want to use my rose tutorial and make your own that look relatively similar. So I'm using Big Twist Value. This is the shade Magenta. And then I also have Big Twist Value and this is the shade Medium Rose. And then for the lightest pink, I use this giant ball. This is the Karen One Pound in the shade Soft Pink. And then for the calyx and also the stems, I use Red Heart Super Saver, and this is the color Tea Leaf. I finished so it is now 145 and I finished one rose in 45 minutes but that's partially because I was having like a crisis because everything that I had filmed the colors were coming out weird and I thought I would have to refilm everything but crisis averted I figured it out so time to put this together so this is four completed out of 42 yay one other thing I wanted to tell you guys about is just a tip that I do to all of my flowers. So I'm not sure, let me see. So you see like all of those like fuzzies, right? That are coming off the yarn. It doesn't look all that great. So what I do, I'll do just like this part here to show you guys. I take just like an average everyday, hello, lighter. And I go like this. And now, let me see. You see how, especially at the top, all of the yarn fuzzies are totally gone. So as opposed to like over here. So it definitely makes a really big difference, especially when the roses are all like wrapped up together. That's how I'm able to get them super clean and they don't have that many yarn, like little fuzzies all over them. So pro tip, use a lighter if you have one. Hi guys, so it's the next day and last night I managed to finish all of these so the two dark ones, the two medium ones, and the two light ones. So now I'm ready to put everything together. This is the little gold crown that I have for this order. Some yarn, the baby's breath that I have to add in, the paper, and then the mesh to wrap it all up. So I don't have that much time to film today, but I thought I would show you guys a little before sneak peek and then I'll show you after what it looks like when I put it together.
Okay guys, I still have to add the wrapper, but look at how cute this is coming out. I've never made one of these with just six roses. I usually make the giant ones with 12 roses and I still have to adjust everything, but I am shook right now. That looks so cute. Okay, stay tuned. I've only wrapped half of it, but look, I am deceased. This is so cute. And I still have to add the crown. This, I am so proud of myself right now, you guys. Okay guys, here is the finished product. Just look. This is literally so perfect, and I mean, I'm biased because it's my own work, but this is so pretty. Imagine getting this as a gift. I would actually die. So this is one order down, four more, no, three more to go, and 36 more roses to go. Okay, you guys, the inspector is coming. Let's see if this passes the test. Hello? What do you think? Ailey, what do you think? No. Okay. Well, thanks anyways. Hi guys, so we're halfway to Vegas now and I have to make eight more of the dark pink roses and 12 total of the medium pink so those are the only two colors i brought while i'm on vacation so hopefully i can get those done okay guys so i just got home a few hours ago and my progress so far we have four of these light pink ones and on vacation I managed to finish five of these medium pink and I finished all 12 of the dark pink roses. So progress so far is pretty good. Hi guys, voiceover Sierra here. In this clip, you can kind of see a little bit of behind the scenes of what it's like to actually put all these bouquets together. It is definitely super monotonous and super boring. I like to like do each rose individually just so I can, you know, glue something and then like use the flame and like it just helps to break it up. Whereas I know some people like to do it all every single step first and then finish the roses, but this is just what works for me and I wish I could work this fast. This is obviously a sped up clip, but here we go. One done and a bajillion more to go. It's now 11.30 and I just finished putting together all 12 of the light pink roses and honestly I am so tired I still have 24 more to go of the other two colors and I really am thinking that I kind of overwhelmed myself with taking so many orders but of course I'm thankful for them it's just a lot to work on like three big orders all at once but here they are I'm going to eat breakfast slash lunch right now and then I'm going to continue with my other roses that are over there, so yeah. The 
only good thing about making these giant bouquets is that since they're like in the round style, you don't actually see the stems. So that means I don't actually have to make leaves for all of these flowers, which is, I am so grateful for that or else it probably would have taken me twice as long if I was making leaves and having to attach the leaves to the stems. So I'm very happy about that. And of course, I had to stack them all in a huge pile, you know, for the content and for the satisfaction because look at all this work I did. I'm so proud of myself. I finished! So here are all 36 of these roses in their glory. And as you guys have seen, this literally took me so long to do. It's been, I think, like a week since I started this set of orders and I am so ready for these orders to be done. So the last step is to just wrap them all up and then ship them out. And here we have them all into their piles. So there's four of each color. Ta-da! Let's see if I could do some cool editing transition where they're all put together. And ta-da! Here they all are, all put together. I'm not gonna lie, they kind of remind me of like brains. <laughs> but the next step is to, let's see. I have to put the baby's breath on them and then I have to wrap them with the pearl mesh and then I have to put the actual like floral paper on them and then I have to tie the bow. So like four more steps left to go and then we should be done. So the way that I add the baby's breath is actually by putting my bouquets upside down and placing them that way. I know it looks ridiculous, but honestly it works because I need to see how far out the flowers are coming on the side of the bouquet. Now the baby's breath is all done. And I was excited, so I preemptively took out the crowns that I'm going to be using for them but I still have to wrap them with the mesh and honestly, I don't even know if I have enough left to do that all, so we'll see. Okay, I think I'll have enough. I already finished one. This one is also finished too, but like since the mesh is like in a straight line, but I'm putting it like in a circle, I kind of have to do some like hot glue magic and you know, oops, like glue it together right here so it'll actually stay. Cause like once it's all wrapped up, you won't be able to tell. So I gotta do that, and then I have to wrap that one, and then I gotta do the paper. Yay! So for the next step, I have these big sheets of this floral wrapping paper, and I fold it in a certain way so that it makes these triangles at the top. And then I place the bouquet here like this, and then give me one second and I'll show you guys what it looks like. And then from the top, it looks like this. Here they all are, all wrapped. Honestly, that literally took me like an hour. I was actually sweating. It was so difficult to wrap them all because it's super complicated. So I just have to put the crowns on. And in case you guys are curious the way I do that, these are actually cake toppers. So they're meant to be used for like baking and stuff, but they have these little holes in them. And I just like plop them on top here and then I'll just take whatever color of the yarn and then I will thread it through the holes and tie a knot to attach it. So one, two of them are gold and then I've never made one with a silver crown. But I'm not sure which one. I think I like the gold better to be honest. But yeah, almost finished. And we're all done. Here they all are. The gold crown version and the silver one. I actually really like the silver one. I thought I wouldn't like it, but it's super cute. 
Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.